I believe that Jesus is God. The Father, Jesus Christ, is God manifest in flesh, and he came to the Jews, and they knew him not, crucified him. He was buried in a tomb. On the third day, he rose again, and he was seen by many. That's the gospel that you must believe to be saved. <clears throat> Ezekiel, read, continue from 40. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. You're so faithful. In the, in, the, in the five and twentieth year of our captivity, in the beginning of the year, in the tenth day of the month, in the fourteenth year after that, the city was smitten, and the selfsame day the hand of the Lord was upon me, and brought me thither. And the visions of God brought he me into the land of Israel, and set me upon a very high mountain, by which was as the frame of a city on the south. And he brought me thither, and behold, there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass with a line of flax in his hand and a measuring reed. And he stood in the gate and the man said unto me, son of man, behold with thine eyes and, and hear with thine ears and set thine heart upon all that I shall shew thee for to the intent that I, I might shew them unto thee art thou brought hither, declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel and behold a wall on the outside of the house round about and in the man's hand a measuring reed of six cubits long by the cubit and a hand breadth 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 so he measured the breadth of the building breadth of the building one reed and the height one reed then came he unto the gate which looketh toward the east and went up the stairs thereof and measured the threshold of the gate which was one reed broad and the other threshold of the gate which was one reed broad and every little chamber was one reed long and one reed broad, and between the little chambers were five cubits, and the threshold of the gate by the porch of the gate within was one reed. He measured also the porch of the gate within one reed, then measured he the porch of the gate eight cubits, and the posts thereof two cubits, and the porch of the gate was inward, and the little chambers of the gate eastward were, were three on this side and three on that side. They three were of one measure, and the posts the posts had one measure on this side and on that side. And he measured the breadth of the entry of the gate, ten cubits, and the length of the gate, thirteen cubits. The space also before the little chambers was one cubit on this side, and the space was one cubit on that side. And the little chambers were six cubits on this side and six cubits on that side. He measured then the gate. From the roof of one little chamber to the roof of another, the breadth was five and twenty cubits, door against door. He made also posts of three score cubits, even unto the posts of the court round about the gate. And from the face of the gate of the entrance unto the face of the porch of the inner gate were fifty cubits. And there were narrow windows to the little chambers and to their posts within the gate round about, and likewise to the arches. And windows were round about inward, and upon each post were palm trees. Then brought he me into the outward court, and lo, there were chambers, and a pavement made for the court round about. Thirty chambers were upon the pavement. And the pavement by the side of the gates, over against the length of the gates, was the lower pavement. Then he measured the breadth from the forefront of the lower gate unto the forefront of the inner court without an hundred cubits, eastward and northward. And the gate of the outward court that looked toward the north, he measured the length thereof and the breadth thereof. And the little chambers thereof were three on this side and three on that side. And the posts thereof and the arches thereof were after the measure of the first gate. And the length thereof was 50 cubits and the breadth 55 and 20 cubits. And their windows and their arches and their palm trees were after the measure of the gate that looketh toward the east. And they went up unto it by seven steps and the arches thereof were before them and the gate of the inner court was over against the gate toward the north and toward the east and he measured from gate to gate an hundred cubits after that he brought me toward the south and behold a gate toward the south and he measured the posts thereof and the arches thereof according to, to these measures and there were windows in it 
and in the arches thereof round about, like those windows, the length was fifty cubits, and the breadth five and twenty cubits. And there were seven steps to go up to it, and the arches thereof were before them, and it had palm trees, one on this side and another on that side, upon the posts thereof. And there was a gate in the inner court toward the south, and he measured from gate to gate toward the south in hundred cubits. And he brought me to the inner court by the south gate, and he measured the south gate according to these measures, and the little chambers thereof, and the posts thereof, and the arches thereof according to these measures, and there were windows in it, and in the arches thereof round about it was fifty cubits long, and five and twenty cubits broad, and the arches round about were five and twenty cubits long, and five cubits broad, and the arches thereof were toward the utter court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, and the going up to it had eight steps. And he brought me into the inner court toward the east, and he measured the gate according to these measures, and the little chambers thereof, and the posts thereof, and the arches thereof were according to these measures, and there were windows therein, and in the arches thereof round about, it was fifty cubits long, and five and twenty cubits broad, and the arches thereof were toward the outward court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side and on that side, and the going up to it had eight steps. And he brought me to the north gate and measured it according to these measures, the little chambers thereof, the posts thereof, and the arches thereof, and the windows to it round about. The length was fifty cubits, and the breadth five and twenty cubits. And the posts thereof were toward the utter court, and palm trees were upon the posts thereof, on this side, and on that side. And the going up to it had eight steps, and the chambers and the entries thereof were by the posts, of the gates where they washed the burnt offering, where they washed the burnt offering. And in the porch of the gate were two tables on this side and two tables on that side to slay thereon the burnt offering and the sin offering and the trespass offering. And at the side without, as one goeth up to the entry of the north gate, were two tables. And on the other side, which was at the porch of the gate, were two tables. Four tables were on this side and four tables on that side. By the side of the gate, eight tables, whereupon they slew their sacrifices. And the four tables were of hewn stone for the burnt offering of a cubit and a half long and a cubit and a half broad and one cubit high, whereupon also they laid the instruments wherewith they slew the burnt offering and the sacrifice. And within were hooks and hand broad fastened round about. And upon the tables was the flesh of the offering. And without the inner gate were the chambers of the singers in the inner court, which was at the side of the north gate, and their prospect was toward the south, one at the side of the east gate, having the prospect toward the north. And he said unto me, This chamber, whose prospect is toward the south, is for the priests, the keepers of the charge of the house. And the chamber, whose prospect is towards the north, is for the priests, the keepers of the charge of the altar. These are the sons of Zadok among the sons of Levi which come near to the Lord to minister unto him. So he measured the court and hundred cubits long and hundred cubits broad, four square, and the altar that was before the house. And he brought me to the porch of the house and measured each post of the porch, five cubits on this side and five cubits on that side. And the breadth of the gate was three cubits on this side and three cubits on that side. The length of the porch was 20 cubits and the breadth 11 cubits. And he, and he brought me by the steps whereby they went up to it. And there were pillars by the posts, one on this side and another on that side. Chapter 41, 41. After he brought me to the temple and measured the posts, six cubits broad on the one side and six cubits broad on the other side, which was the breadth of the tabernacle and the breadth of the door was 10 cubits and the sides of the door were five cubits on the one side and five cubits on the other side. And he measured the length thereof, 40 cubits and the breadth, 20 cubits. Then went he inward and measured the post of the door, two cubits and the door, six cubits and the breadth of the door, seven cubits. So he measured the length thereof, 20 cubits and the breadth, 20 cubits before the temple. And he said unto me, this is the most holy place. After he measured the wall of the house, six cubits and the breadth of every side chamber, four cubits round about the house on every side, and the, and the side chambers were three, one over another, and thirty and 
and thirty in order, and they entered into the wall, which was of the house for the side chambers round about, that they might have hold, but they had not hold in the wall of the house. And there was an enlarging and a winding about still up upward to the side chambers. For the winding about of the house went still upward round about the house, therefore the breadth of the house was still upward, and so increased from the lowest chamber to the highest by the midst. I saw also the height of the house round about the foundations of the, of the side chambers were a full reed of six great cubits. The thickness of the wall, which was for the side chamber without, was five cubits, and that which was left was the place of the side chambers that were within, and between the chambers was the wideness of 20 cubits round about the house on every side. And the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left, one door toward, one door toward an, the north and another door toward the south. And the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about. Now the building that was before the separate place at the end toward the west was 70 cubits broad. And the wall of the building was five cubits thick round about and the length thereof 90 cubits. So he measured the house in 100 cubits long and the separate place and the building with the walls thereof and hundred cubits long. Also the breadth of the face of the house and of the separate place toward the east and hundred cubits. And he measured the length of the building over against the separate place which was behind it and the galleries thereof on the one side and on the other side and hundred cubits with the inner temple and the porches of the court. The doorposts and the narrow windows and the galleries round about on, on their three stories over against the door sealed with wood round about and from the ground up to the windows and the windows were covered to that above the door even into the inner house and without and by all the wall round about within and without by measure and it was made with cherubims and palm trees so that a palm tree was between a cherub and a cherub and every cherub had two faces so that he so that the face of a man was toward the palm tree on the one side and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on the other side. It was made through all the house round about from the ground unto above the door were cherubims and palm trees made. And on the wall of the temple, the posts of the temple were square and the face of the sanctuary, the appearance of the one as the appearance of the other. The altar of wood was three cubits high and the length thereof two cubits and the corners thereof and the length thereof and the walls thereof were of wood. And he said unto me, this is the table that is before thee. And the temple and the sanctuary that, that had two doors and the doors had two leaves apiece, two turning leaves, two leaves for the one door and two leaves for the other door. And there were made on them, on the doors of the temple, cherubims and palm trees like were made upon the walls. And there were thick planks upon the face of the porch without and there were narrow windows and palm trees on the one side and on, on the other side, on the sides of the porch and upon the side chambers of the house and thick planks. Chapter 42. Then he brought me forth into the utter court, the way toward the north, and he brought me into the chamber that was over against a separate place and which was before the building toward the north, before the length of an hundred cubits was the north door. And the breadth was 50 cubits over against the 20 cubits, which were for the inner court. Over against the 20 cubits, which were for the inner court. And over against the pavement, which was for the utter court, was gallery against gallery and, and three stories. And before the chambers, and before the chambers was a walk to 10 cubits breadth inward a way a way of one cubit and the doors toward the end toward the north now the upper chambers were shorter for the galleries were higher than these than the lower and the middlemost of the building for they were in three stories but had not pillars as the pillars of the courts therefore the building was straightened more than the lowest and the middlemost from the ground and the wall that was without over against the chambers toward the utter court on the fore part of the chambers, the length thereof was 50 cubits. For the length of the chambers that were in the utter court was 50 cubits, and lo, before the temple were in 100 cubits. 
and from under these chambers was the entry on the east side as one goeth into them from the utter court. The chambers were in the thickness of the wall of the court toward the east over against a separate place and over against the building. And the way before them was like the appearance of the chambers which were toward the north as long as they and as broad as they. And all their goings out were both according to their fashions and according to their doors and according to the doors of the chambers that were toward the south was a door in the head of the way, even the way directly before the wall toward the east as one entereth into them. Then said he unto me, the north chambers and the south chambers. Which are before the separate place, they be holy chambers where the priests that approach unto the Lord shall eat the most holy things. There shall they lay the most holy things, and the meat offering, and the sin offering, and the trespass offering, for the place is holy. When the priests enter therein, then shall they not go out of the holy place into the utter court. But there, there they shall lay their garments wherein they minister, for they are holy, and shall put on other garments, and shall approach to those things which are for the people. Now when he had made an end of measuring the inner house, he brought me forth toward the gate whose prospect is toward the east and measured it round about he measured the east with the measuring he measured the east side with the measuring reed 500 reeds with the measuring reed round about he measured the north side 500 reeds with the measuring reed round about he measured the south side 500 reeds with the measuring reed he turned about to the west side and measured 500 reeds with the measuring reed. He measured it by the four sides. It had a wall round about 500 reeds long and 500 broad to make a separation between the sanctuary and the profane place. Believe on the Lord Jesus to be saved. It's the only way to heaven.